I recently met this woman who is staying here for a while and upon meeting her I immediately did not like her I just felt this negativity oozing off her um, and then my uh, my judgment I guess was confirmed when she said to one of my friends when I wasn't there because she couldn't say it to my face where I could actually say something back to her she said Jamie will never accomplish the thing he's working on right now. He just, she's just not motivated enough and blah, blah, blah. And, and my friend said, oh, you don't know Jamie. Motivation is not a problem for him. You don't really know what you're talking about. And then someone else over here overheard this conversation and then told me while laughing, oh, Jamie, you got to hear what this lady said about you. Oh, it's so funny. And he told me, you know, she said, Dear, you'll never accomplish this thing. You have no motivation, blah, blah, blah. And I laughed and he laughed. And uh, I was about to blow it off and forget about it. Then I was like, you know what? There's something that really bothers me about that. And I thought about it for a second. And I realized if she is saying this to me or about me behind my back, which is even worse, because if she said it to my face, I could at least be like, oh, would you like to place a wager on that? I could use uh, an extra thousand dollars, you know. But if she's saying that about me, how many other people has she done this to? See, for me, I've proven myself to myself enough times that when someone says, oh, you'll never accomplish that, or someone says it behind my back, or whatever, I just, it's just a, it's just a joke. I just laugh about it, and then I put them on mute and just get them out of my life as quickly as possible. <clears throat> but when I think back to when I was a little kid, and I hadn't proven myself to myself, and I had all kinds of doubts, that would have had an actual impact on me. And that was why, when I was a kid, I never discussed anything I was doing with anyone. Because I learned right away that people are going to say, no, you can't do it, no, you can't do it. <clears throat> and uh, I just thought about all the decades. This is like a 60-year-old woman, a mother. Like, she shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. But it's super common. And for her whole life, she's just been going through life spreading this negativity. Now, I haven't seen this woman since I heard about this. But I would say to her and anyone else who does this stuff, which is a lot of people, like look at yourself and think, am I my person doing this? Because a lot of people do this. <clears throat> Here's my advice. If you meet someone who's working on some goal, trying to accomplish something, it's not your job to decide whether or not they're going to do it. It's not your job to decide whether or not they'll succeed. Your job is to shut up and get out of the way. That's it. And I'm wording that as politely as I possibly can. That's the polite version. <clears throat> See, it's not even useful for the person doing it to stop what they're doing and declare, I'm going to succeed or I'm going to fail. Like, it's, it's a pointless thing to do. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's a waste of time. And for a spectator to do that, to declare whether someone's going to succeed or fail, is just stupid. It's idiotic. It's a complete waste of time. The only, the only thing that's important there is that this person who's trying to accomplish this thing, presuming they're not like committing genocide or something, but they're working towards some kind of positive goal. The important thing is that they're making steady progress toward the goal. All this talk of you can do it, you can't, is just a waste of time. So if you meet someone who is working on accomplishing some sort of goal and you want to be involved, forget the talk. Think about three things. Think, is there something you can do to help them? Do you have some kind of skill that can help this person or some resource or some way to help this person? Second, does this person want your help? And third, are you willing to do only what is helpful? And if you can't answer yes to all three of those, just shut up and get out of the way. And better yet, find your own thing to do. Not, not talk about, but find your own goal. Find your own thing to accomplish. Because if you do something where you're trying to accomplish some difficult goal and you don't give up and you persevere and you actually accomplish it, you'll get this perspective on life and the world and the universe and everything that is very different than the perspective of someone who goes around 
you know, armchair quarterbacking everything. It's like, oh, they're going to succeed and they're not. And <clears throat> it's a totally different thing. Life is a completely different thing when you actually start accomplishing things that you're not sure you can do. Okay. Back to work, Jamie.